Now, what you know, when the Guggenheim Group, the new ownership group, took over in 2012, they immediately embarked on some of these major changes. That was kind of the first big phase. Mm -hmm. What were some of the things they focused on then? So essentially, the the goal was you have one chance to make a first impression. Uh, you'll never get that first season back, and mm -hmm. so. The edict from the top down was, we're going to give the players a new clubhouse. By hell or high water, there's a hundred reasons why it hadn't been done in the previous decades. There was no PR campaign. There was nothing announced. Stan Kasten said, I want them to arrive on opening day and have a new clubhouse. Yeah. And so some of it is also the humility to say, we're not smarter than any one of the last 30 or 40 years. So we're not going to solve a problem that they couldn't solve. So it was introducing a new method, which was just digging down. Yeah. Uh, it's very expensive. You're digging out pure rock because yeah. everything's built on, on a mountainside. But the yellow seats you see kind of on the right were all peeled off. And on the left and right on the home and visiting side uh, was dug down to add space. So all of it was saying, we don't have some magical space we didn't think we could find. We have to create new right? and without impacting the old. So following this, like in 2012 and leading up mm -hmm. to 2020, there was a lot of different projects that were undertaken leading up to the next major one in 2020. What were some of those? I think we, we uniquely audit every square inch of the building every day. Yeah. And the season... The season represents a, a period of time you can't do major work. It doesn't mean you can't do minor work. Uh, the team goes on the road for a week, and you know what? That furniture that was uh, worn out is going to get replaced on this, this away, away stand, or this all-star break is going to have this happen. And between our department and, I think, Stan Kasten is a very unique kind of president who walks everywhere. And I realize more and more that's more and more... That's not common. I thought it was just the norm. <laughs> oh, the president is on the top deck in this corner, in this restroom. You will run into him everywhere in the building. And I think that really sets a tone for us to have a, a plan, know where our flaws are, know where our strengths are. Mm -hmm. And every single season could be, I moved an equipment room and replaced it with a team meeting room in the clubhouse. But that set off a chain reaction that eventually found myself putting a broom closet into an authenticator's office uh, and then exhaling for a week and then finding all new things to do all over again. Right.